Hey guys, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Merry Christmas to everybody. Uh, got a couple of Christmas beers I'm going to do. Uh, hope uh, everybody is uh, doing well this holiday season. So let's get on with this. This is Great Lakes Christmas Ale. Uh, my brother Rico sent me this beer. So I thought I would do this here on Christmas. And, uh, and uh, see what it brings to the table here guys. Great Lakes makes some really tasty stuff. Uh, uh, we can get their stuff down here now. Uh, but uh, Rico picked this up and sent it to me for me to try and review for you guys. Uh, he's uh, left a sticker on. This was $2.75 for this bottle. And this is a 7.5% alcohol by volume, 30 IBUs. That's what it's got on it. The only plus I'm going to say, Great Lakes is just doing these enjoy by dates now. And this has 021717. So we have no idea when exactly it was put in the bottle. That's our only downfall when these breweries go to these enjoy by or best by dates. We don't know. I mean, has it got a two month, three month, six month shelf life or longer? 7.5% is going to keep for a little while. Uh, this beer is brewed with spices. Uh, it says on the label here, ale brewed with spices and honey. So it should be a nice sweet beer for 30 IBUs. So let's see what we got here. Commercial description. It has a cinnamon and ginger spice flavor, rich copper color, and medium body that will fit with any holiday meal. Very nice. So... Nothing else we need to talk about, so let's get it into the glass, and while I get it open, the uh, food pairing just says general, dessert, the meat with poultry, and game. Glass wire to pipe, uh, Becker Nonic Tumbler. I'm using my favorite tulip glass today, guys, and not recommended for extended souring. So, not much carbonation. It didn't hiss very much, and it didn't pour very much head there. It's just barely covering the top of it. And it is a nice, uh, I'm going to say, a copper color. Good looking beer, a lot of uh, bubbles streaming up, so let's get a nose to it. A little bit of ginger, cinnamon. Maybe some cloves. Typical holiday type beer, as far as the aroma. So, yeah, smell good. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Rico. Merry Christmas. Very easy drinking for a seven and a half percenter. Very smooth. Cinnamon. Nutmeg. bit of ginger in there. Maybe some allspice or some cloves. A lot of pumpkin pie-esque qualities to this. So, uh, your pumpkin beers and some of these holiday beers are very similar. Uh, the holiday beers sometimes have a little bit stronger ABV. Most of your pumpkin beers, unless they're imperial, are around your five to six percent. But there are exceptions to that rule. Uh, there are some imperial pumpkins out there. So, uh, and I've got some in the fridge I need to do. Uh, here we are in uh, December, and uh, I've got some pumpkin beers I haven't done yet. So we'll, we may do a pumpkin week and uh, try to get some of those out of the refrigerator before too long. Uh, uh, I can't think of a single thing that I would say derogatory about the beer. It's a nice, easy drinking 7.5 percenter. Uh, very well made. None of the flavors are standing out or anything. I, to be honest with you, I don't think it's a world-class beer or anything, but it's a decent beer, well made. So it's right out of the fridge. Let's let it warm up like I always do and uh, let her taste it and we'll come back and see where she ends up. All right, guys, I'm back. Uh, I got a little left here. Uh, a decent beer, guys. Uh, I'm, I'm just not a big fan of all these pumpkin beers and holiday Christmas type beers and stuff. Now, some of them are pretty big ABV. I mean, uh, They'll knock you down, and I think tomorrow's uh, beers are, are going to be that way. But uh, they're just just not my cup of tea, and I try to be as honest with you and, and judge them for what they are. Uh, this is decent. It's, I don't think it's outstanding world class. Uh, to be honest with you, uh, I don't think it's only going to get an A, final show.
Definitely a well-made beer. The alcohol is super well hidden, guys, for it. Seven and a half percent. Not boozy at all. And a nice light kick of ginger and cinnamon and nutmeg on this. So, decent beer. Just not blown away by it. Uh, definitely not the best beer that uh, Great Lakes makes, and by far. So, uh, to me, guys, uh, it does have the IVUs, and it does have the the uh, ABV on it, and it, they did attempt to put a date on it, but it's an enjoy by date instead of a bottled on date. So, I'm gonna give it a B plus. Uh, numeric rating on this is 88. That's where I'm gonna put it, guys. Uh, over to Beer Advocate. Beer Advocate has it. Hey, 88. Imagine that. Yeah, we're in agreement. That's two days in a row, I think. Um, over to uh, Rate Beer. Rate Beer says 89 and 96 in the style. And for our final check in, uh, Untapped has it at 3.84, which is a B plus there also. So everybody's in agreement. It's a B plus beer, guys, and I agree. Uh, it's unanimous. It's a B plus beer. Nothing outstanding. Uh, definitely well made beer. Uh, alcohol is very well hidden. It's got a nice taste to it. Uh, just the flavors and stuff weren't. They're very subdued to me, guys. Uh, so and like I said, this is uh, these these beers, pumpkin beers and Christmas beers and stuff, were kind of novelty to me. Uh, uh, like to do them in uh, for the season. Uh, uh, probably not something I would run out and buy. So thanks to my brother Rico for sending these uh, wonderful beers to me uh, to uh, to review for you guys. Because it's probably not something I would run out and purchase. When I first started doing beer reviews, I run out and try to buy all these different pumpkin beers and holiday beers and stuff like that. And they, they, they were something different than your typical IPA or or pale ales and stouts and folders and stuff. But uh, they just don't blow my hair back. Of course, I got a hat on, so it can't blow my hair back. All right, guys, I hope uh, Santa Claus is going to bring you everything you want. Uh, about time to jump into the sack before Santa Claus is coming. This is Christmas Eve, and uh, and I uh, hope you are good boys and girls this year, so you, uh, you get everything you want. So, uh, well, let's get out of here, and uh, come on back tomorrow, Christmas Day, and uh, we'll, uh, we'll probably do a couple more Christmas beers before it's over with. So, uh, Merry Christmas, everybody. If you haven't had this beer, let me know what you think. See you tomorrow.